Hello and welcome back to our Pokemon Xenoverse playthrough. This is part 33. In last episode, we had ourselves an interesting little visit to the seventh gym, which ended with our good old buddy Gengar popping up, which we did go ahead. We had ourselves a battle against Gengar, kind of. Kind of. We didn't actually battle the Gengar itself, but we did battle the Pokemon in Gengar's command, because for whatever reason it can apparently do that. And we were told to go ahead and come over to this abandoned gym. There is nothing that happens at this abandoned gym, so I'm pretty sure I misread the text or something. I'm gonna head back to the previous uh, circus area, just quickly run back and speak to good old gym leader boy, who I'm assuming I probably need to battle first then. Hey, welcome to the traveling gym of Sunshine Circus, young trainer. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We know that he has fire types, bring your water and ground types, all of that good stuff. Uh, I'm pretty sure I put- I did put Harrock in front. The reason I have Harrock in front is very, very simple. Drizzle. That's it. That's the entire reason it's in front. Is there any- it's surely the most sensible thing that I can do. If I lead with rain, that's gotta be the best thing that I can possibly do. We have Waterfall on Hanshin, we have Sharpedo, Roserade's neutral against most fire types, Skullville can hopefully be okay, and Shyleon will probably skip box the first thing that attacks it. But, you know what, we'll give it a go. We'll give it a go. So, hi, seeing as you're still here, I assume we're starting things off this episode with a gym battle? Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome today's challenger. Come on. The Sunshine Circus challenge consists in a sequence of three battles against my company's best tumblers. I've already done this, though. Although it wasn't an official show, you've already proven yourself to be worthy of the final battle. Thank you, good, okay. Defeating all three of my associates. Yes, 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 yes. Good. Don't make me battle those again, please. So, as elegant as the phoenix rising from the ashes, fueled by the eternal flames burning in hell, that's... the first one sounded pretty, the second sentence not so pretty, and with the fiery passion within the heart of a warrior, okay, that's just kind of badass, sure. My fire-type Pokemon will blaze up like gunpowder in their fiery glory to light up the sunshine circus. Did he just say his Pokemon are bombs? Everyone, please evacuate. This person should not be in charge of any kind of gym. Uh, maybe this place is traveling because they get banned from cities once they blow the place up. I believe it. I believe it. Now, Rapidash is probably faster than me. I'm actually gonna leave the Thunder Wave. Did Mega Horn? That is not the move I expected it to go for. Ever. Not ever. Um, I'm just gonna acrobatics. It should still do a decent amount. That was around half. Flamethrower in the rain shouldn't do too much at all. So far so good, so far so good. I'm gonna slightly abuse the process here and I'm gonna roost up. We're both gonna heal up. Okay, okay. I don't mind ever using up the enemy's potions in a situation like this where they don't have their scariest Pokemon on the field. If they're gonna go ahead and use their potions on a mega horning Rapidash against a flying type, in the rain. That's okay with me. That's really okay with me. Go for it. Please, use your potions on that kind of worthless Rapidash. Incineroar wants to come out. Uh, honestly? I'm gonna go into Honchin against it. It does have Intimidate. Maybe that's a bad idea. Let's think this through. Let's give this some thought. I do have Sludge Bomb on Scobble which is choice specs boosted, and I don't know what else is going to be useful against. I don't want any of my Pokemon to get completely bopped. Roserade is also decent, but also... It doesn't do super well. Honestly, if there was a time to bring in Scobble, it's probably now, right? And then we get a Sludge Bomb, choice specs off against the Incineroar. We don't have to worry about the Intimidate affecting us, all of that good stuff. So go ahead, send out your Incineroar. I am not that afraid. The Intimidate was obvious. That's fine. I choice back Sludge Bomb. It's at least neutral. It does very little damage. Oh my lord, okay, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm so sorry. I thought I was gonna do like half its HP and I don't know why I thought that. Scobble did its job, right? It is now in range where Sharpedo can come in and it can finish it. This, I do believe Sharpedo should outspeed. Citrus Berry, okay, 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 okay. Sadly, we don't have Venoshock anymore. If we had Venoshock on this Rosary, that would actually be amazing, but we don't. I'm assuming Sharpedo outspeeds, and we don't just get completely annihilated by a Darkest Lariat. If we do, then, well, well, you get to call me a dummy face. 
and I'm gonna go for Waterfall because I'm not even confident in Aquajet will KO just because I am not confident. After seeing how much damage that Sludge Bomb did, my confidence went down, really far down. Pyro is a sound type. We know that Pyro is a sound type. And we know that Electric was good against sound. Don't mind me, I'm remembering typings right now. I'm remembering typings. It's going great. So we'll go for the Wild Charge. It does outspeed. It's only neutral though. We fought Pyro before. We kind of fought Pyro and Incineroar already. This time we do actually faint the recoil though. I mean, it did its job. It put it into Aqua Jet range, I'm pretty sure. I know it's part sound, so it's not super effective, but rain boosted, I believe. I should not believe. I take it back. Believing was a mistake. Do I outspeed a Pyro? 127, 118. It's not a huge difference. If I was like way faster than my Harrock, which got outsped, I might be confident in it, but now I'm not confident, and I kind of just want to Aqua Jet again. Okay. I believe I can live a hit. I can't live a hit. There's no way I live a hit. What am I talking about? There's no way I live a hit. Aqua Jet is really valuable. It is. It's so valuable. I want to keep the Aqua Jet around. Shyleon, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Shyleon. You're going to get hyper voiced real quick. Yep. 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 Mm hmm. I accept its fate. I accept its fate. It gives me a free swap right into Honchin, which maybe could have taken the Hyper Voice better anyway, so maybe that was the right play to begin with. Probably was the right play to begin with. I should have went just straight into Honchin, but I didn't. But you have the Dry Skin as well. I did forget about that. Maybe I should be stockpiling right now and actually like abusing this recovery that we actually have. We actually have some nice recovery on this Pokemon in the rain. We do have some nice synergy against a Fire-type gym, funnily enough. Like, yeah, we're running two Grass-types, which isn't the dream, but we do have some kind of synergy. Goom Bear. Was slow, and I can get a really powerful Waterfall off against it, I think. I definitely didn't think of this Pokemon as fast. <laughs> it's appearance! Oh, oh, I haven't, I haven't seen it in a little bit. I haven't seen it in a little bit. One, just because it's been a while since it appeared in the game, and two, because I haven't been recording this game quite as often. Uh, but dang, dang, what a beautiful Pokemon. Toxapex is the final Pokemon to come out, huh? Toxapex. Fire type Toxapex? Oh, it's got the circus theme. That's so cool. That's so cool. I kind of love that. I kind of love the Toxapex. I hate Toxapex as a Pokemon, don't get me wrong, but that looks kind of cool. I'm just gonna go for a Waterfall. It is super effective and it does one shot. Goodbye Air Balloon, okay. Well, well, glad I didn't lose my Sharpedo to that Pyro Hyper Voice. That's all I'm gonna say. Shylion, the sacrifice was worth it. The very essence of a trainer burns brightly within you, Carlos. Not many people managed to put on the spot my beastly fire-type Pokémon tempered by vicious battles, but you were able to put them in their places like not even a tamer like me has ever done. The brand badge deserves to be held tightly by your skillful hands. Well, thank you. He said the word tempered, and that made me think of the tempered monsters in Monster Hunter, because I've started playing Monster Hunter again, and I'm, I'm slightly addicted. I stopped, like, when Iceborne came out, because my friend had just a bunch of problems with Iceborne, but now we're getting back into it and we're playing Iceborne again, it's been a lot of fun. As tradition wants here at Sunshine Circus, I'm going to give you this TM2! TM35 Flamethrower, I believe. It contains Flamethrower, one of the most iconic and powerful fire-type attacks. Also, just the best consistent fire type attack. And that is definitely a compliment. Consistency is so, so nice in Pokemon. It's so nice. Teach it to your Pokemon and use Flamethrower. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's all for the show today. The whole Sunshine Circus would like to thank you for your warm presence today too. See you next time. But more than any anybody, I want to thank you, Carlos, for this great show you made. I'll brag this exciting day in my memory with fire.
That makes it sound like I'm gonna burn the place down. I don't trust you, ma'am. I, uh, I forget. Help. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> um, either way, we were told to go to the backup gym, old gym. There is now a person outside. I am gonna quickly run and heal, which we can do right here. And then we're gonna go ahead and speak to them. I thought we were gonna go there immediately at the beginning, but apparently not. Apparently we still had to do the actual fight. So now that the fight is out of the way, go ahead and see what we need to do at this old abandoned place that is definitely not gonna be haunted. I was waiting for you. I didn't watch the entire battle, but I've seen enough to convince me. You certainly have what it takes to conquer the last gym badge. But you see, the gym leader that used to run Vega Gym has left without a trace. And so, the few trainers up to seven gym badges gave up at the thought of looking for him. I had something confused in my head. I thought the Traveling Circus replaced this gym. The way he is making it sound is that this is the eighth gym. But I know where he is and I want to share my secret with a young talent like you. With this, you can finally reach your sought after goal. Here you have an air ticket. Gotcha. Gotcha. I thought the circus replaced this gym because it was, you know, trash. Sounds rude, but you know. <laughs> the gym leader of Vegas said you retired to another region, hence you'll need the plane to reach him. Showing that ticket to the right person in Samuel Oak Airport will get you on the plane to that far land. I hope that with your genuine power, you can revive that warrior spirit of his. Ah. Huh. Okay, okay. Um, we do have the good old HM service that I need to remember that we can use, so we can fly. Can't use that here. We can't fly. Um, why can't we fly? Can we fly from this part of the city? Is it just that part of the city is kind of just like an inside building for whatever reason? No, can't use that here. Strange. Definitely strange. How did I get into the city? I came from the lower region? I believe if I just go onto a previous route, can I can I get on out of here? Do I have to leave to like route 10? Strange. Definitely str can't use that here. I'm not clicking fly. Oh my god. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. I was clicking cut. Oh my god. What is wrong with me? Listen, 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 listen. I have no excuse. I'm just stupid. <laughs> just, I have no excuse for that one. That's just me being really dumb. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Listen. It's been a long day, okay? I don't want to make excuses for that one because that was entirely on me being incredibly stupid. Also, I forgot which side the airport was on. I think it was the left. Um, that one was entirely me being stupid, but... It's been a it's pretty, pretty rough day. Um, I had a lot of stress today because my Ethernet cable that goes to my PC, uh, the plastic part on the Ethernet cable actually snapped. And I was very worried that I was gonna be without internet. And that is a very scary prospect to me. We've also had to like really refit our entire bathroom. We have new bathroom cabinets, new bathroom flooring, stuff like that that I've been helping out with. I've had a long day. Um, with that, that made me feel really bad at how stupid I am. Would you like to get on board now or do you wish to make sure you have everything you need first? Let's let's go, I'm ready to go. Mm -hmm. Plane's ready to roll. Why would you stop the entire plane for me? That's not how that should work. Okay, did, go to a tower? Nice, nice. Hey, never heard of Diglett's Cave? It's one of the most desired hiking destinations here in Kanto. Does it always have to be Kanto? It's a timer ball. It's a useful ball. Useful, I like it, okay. Every time I take the plane, I cross my fingers on the conveyor belt, they didn't lose my trolley. <laughs> understandable, understandable. But again, I have a really talent booking all the delayed flights. Understandable. Vermilion City. Okay, this is not where I expected to be. The Superpower Airport. Can I like actually go wander around the region? No, that <laughs> would be the answer. A very swift no. Okay. Looking at you, I can see you're not from here, am I right? Take this, it's a small welcome gift. Luck incense! I will sell it for money. Thank you. Have you seen that huge Pokemon sleeping on the street? It's so big, I wonder if it fits in a Pokeball. It sure does if you just, you know, wake it up first. 
I've never understood. <laughs> Superpower Airport is the result of the hard work that my father and his strong Pokemon put in. Even though he's gone, his memory will live on in everyone's hearts thanks to his masterpiece. Is Tucker Lieutenant Surge's child? Because that doesn't make sense to me. I don't, I don't see him as like a family man. I see him as like a war veteran and that is all. Something in the trash, rare candy. There we go, we continue going through multiple regions of trash now. Beautiful, beautiful. Mega Evolution, gimme, wait, what? I want that, hold on. I'm assuming I can go in here. I should probably use the Pokemon Center in this region first. I have the strange feeling that this bench is linking me with someone from my past. Maybe. Who is the leader of the fan club now? Hey! Pokemon fan club's social media page is a big hit thanks to my Porygon, and we're leaving. Okay. That. Uh, yep, we don't need to be there. We don't need to be there. That's not a place we need to be. You have a golem in here? When we were young, my Pokemon and I had wonderful adventures all over the region. We both evolved over the years, it became a golem and I an old man. Well, it didn't just become a golem. You traded for the golem, surely. You know, it didn't just become like that. The Millennium City really is a nice place. It's a shame the old gym ruins the atmosphere. I wonder why they don't tear it down. Because there's still someone inside, possibly. Maybe. I don't know. I'm just throwing that thought out there. Either way, let's go ahead and check out the old gym, I guess. Uh... Not entirely sure what to expect, other than... Maybe a gym leader? Maybe? Possibly? Hi! Old Vermilion Gym. Hey kid, who is in here? What are you doing in here? I don't want any drugs. I do- Sparkly Ben? Sparkly? Oh, now my hair is sparkly! Look at that sheen! Okay, um... Hey, when you have anything better to do than to come here looking for an old geezer like me? Not really, no, to be honest. Actually, you see, I know exactly why you're here. You want my badge, don't you? Since my retirement, I've only seen a few kids willing enough to come this far. Even though I've decided to give up everything, I never left my occupation in the LD region, unlike I did here in Kanto a long time ago. Not for some reason, but I didn't want to leave vacancies, that's all. The determination I used to have by now has burned out and just made me an old man living in his memories. My appearance, as well as me being here, tell the whole story. Bam! The light shines. Look at me. Look at how this inexorable... Okay, okay, buddy. Inexorable passage of time has made me. It is Lieutenant Such. If it were up to me, I'd hand you over the badge like lightning. The procedures impose me to challenge you. It's not like I want to, but... Get on. Get, we're just going straight into it? It's up to you to decide whether or not to take off... Do, do I, we're just... We're just we're, uh, do I, oh, I, I am not exactly prepared for this. But I guess we're going straight into Gym Battle 8. Okay. Sure. Why not? Bling Grudge. What type are you? I don't know. I remember you as being like a Poison and Steel type. That doesn't exactly fit. I'm gonna find a way for you. Okay. Rock slide. That's unfortunate. Please don't hurt me. That hurts. Please don't. I'm just gonna roost and heal that back up. And then that's not super effective anymore. And that's better for me. So I get wrecked. Iron head. That's dumb. I'm just gonna wild charge. I might get completely wrecked by the recoil and rock slide here. This is probably not my brightest idea. But I'm clicking it anyway. <laughs> Today is not a day of bright ideas. Today I'm turning my brain off and accepting it. Okay, I have, I have no need for my brain today. All right, it's, it's been put safely to the side for this episode, <laughs> which was very, very apparent the second that I tried to use cut instead of fly. I'm still not over that. I'm really, really mad at myself. <laughs> When you do things like that and no one's watching, you can just sort of like go, dang, and touch yourself and have it be over. When you've clicked start recording and you do it, it feels bad. It feels bad. Rock slide. Am I going to get bought by this? 
I'm not gonna get bothered by this. Are you gonna heal up yourself? No. Now I feel slightly bad. Okay, that poison jab hits a lot harder. You know what? I'm just gonna finish you off with acrobatics real quick. We're just gonna get that Pokemon off the screen before we get poisoned with poison jab and have to worry about flinches and stuff like that. Let's just get rid of the scary Pokemon. Magnezone. That's also a scary Pokemon. It is. It's still a scary Pokemon. And I have set up the good old fashioned rain, which does actually cause me a couple problems here. I also didn't even teach this Pokemon Flamethrower yet, we're still running Choice Specs Flame Burst. It's just not the dream. It is just not the dream. I don't have like any ground type moves on my entire team. I guess we're just gonna go into Skullville. If it is Surge, I'm assuming he's still running Electric types, meaning if there's a type to bring in this Pokemon, it is now. That's my thought process. I'm assuming he hasn't swapped over to Steel types, but I mean, who knows, to be honest. Who really knows? Choice Specs Flame Burst should still do a decent bit of damage. That rain really does stop the dream, though. It really stops the dream. And we get paralyzed on top of it. The dream is being stopped right here. Flame Burst, again, it's a free hit KO. We should live another hit. Volt Switch, where are you going? Hold on now. It's not the end of the world. Magnezone, pretty slow. Not the end of the world. Agron, you're genuinely running a Steel-type team. I'm just gonna let this Pokemon go. It's paralyzed, it doesn't outspeed anything. It's not worth keeping around. Huh. Steel-type team. I would not have set up the rain and I would have taught Scobble Flamethrower, and we would be in a much better situation if I had known. But I was not expecting to go straight into another battle. I mean, I knew I, I walked into this gym, right? I am fully aware that I did this to myself. I walked into this gym and kind of ran straight up to the gym leader. What, there might have been something in between them? But no, it's gym leader to gym leader. There is not a single fight in between these gym leaders. It is one to the other. Fair enough. Agron is gonna go down. Magnezone isn't scary because we have rain boosted waterfall and it should not outspeed us. We know it's not choice specs or anything because it had an air balloon. There's no reason that shouldn't KO. Okay, good. All right. Cling Clang. That is a Pokemon that you can use technically, I suppose. Um, and I do outspeed it. I think I'm just gonna go get the waterfall damage off to be honest. I will happily just get damage off. Bam. It's decently hard, Volt Switch is absolutely gonna KO us. Did we just live? That is a cool looking Raichu. That is a cool looking Raichu. Oh my. That. That is cool. I like that. I like it a lot. I mean, I don't think I hit this thing hard with any of my moves, so I'm just gonna click Energy Ball and accept the Steel type move that's gonna hit me, but. Yep, ow. Mm hmm. Fence drop doesn't matter. That does nothing, because, you know, I'm assuming Electric and Steel seems to be his theme for sure. Um. I like the Raichu. I like the Paraglider tail the most. I really like that tail. Um, what is my plan? <laughs> I do, I have no plan. I'll be perfectly honest with you. My plan, no, I have none. Um, Hyper Voice isn't really gonna help me too much because I'm pretty sure Electric resists sound. Punchin, I guess we're kind of relying on you, buddy, to do something. I don't know what you're gonna do, but you've gotta do something. It's gonna be a rain-boosted waterfall, I guess. We have decent defenses. We should live the Splash Cannon well. We do live it decently. We live it decently. Waterfall does a lot of damage because it's pretty frail. Okay, 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 okay. You know what? It's working out. It's working out. It's working out. We need to keep this Punchin alive to deal with... That Raichu, but thankfully, Clink Clank's low enough to go down. 
Waterfall in the rain seems to be a theme here. I'm sorry, how are you alive? Clank Clang. I'm gonna let Harrock go. I might have outsped. I might have just straight up outsped and had no reason to swap, but I'm just gonna go ahead and play this super safe and use Rose Raid against this Clang Clang and keep my Pokemon that I know can deal with the Raichu as healthy as possible. So we're just gonna Hyper Voice you down. And honestly, I'll probably just throw a Hyper Voice into the Raichu as well and we'll see how much damage it does, I guess. Yeah, there's no need. There's no need. There's no need. There's no need. Like I said, my brain completely off today. Um, but you know what? We're getting the victory. <laughs> Is it the cleanest victory you've ever seen against these gym leaders? No, probably not. Is it a victory regardless? Yes. Yes, it is. And that's all that matters. So, get out of here, Raichu. Although, I would love to capture one of those Raichus. That does look like a really cool Pokemon. I do like that. And we defeat Surge, huh? Not who I was expecting to be the last gym battle, for sure. Well, I don't care how much effort you did put in. Here's your payoff for taking the trouble to come this far. The Honor Badge looks really rusty, buddy. Clean your badges, you know, get some, some spit on there and like a cloth, something. A rusted piece of junk is the old badge from my longtime gym here in Kanto. I renamed it Honor Badge to remind me of the value of those memories. Ah, uh, why am I getting lost in chat with a pint sized brat like you? You got what you wanted, get out of my face now. Go away. Apparently, I'm not moving. What? My arm, you say? Such a nosy tyke. You really have nothing else to do? I'll tell you what led me to end up like this. I I got my badge. I'm good. I... Okay. Years ago, I served with Team Rocket. It had legions of grunts under my command, and everyone knew me as the terrible Lieutenant Surge. I do know him, Stat. That's true. I was fighting for a man whom I held in very high esteem. Giovanni. It was a dream until... A brat about your age screwed everything up. Or saved you, depending on how you look at it, you know, it's, yeah. The boss had to dissolve the organization he set up, and I found myself alone again. As during war, and all my comrades got killed. It got dark real quick. However, the spirit of the warrior was still burning within me. For a second there, I fully thought we'd just, like, taken a step and gone to, like, a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon map, and I don't know why my brain did that. Like, that transition made me think of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon for some reason. I therefore decided to join the army of a distant region that was recruiting soldiers to engage in a conflict against its neighbors. It had to be a Blitzkrieg, but instead it lasted longer than those who caused it ever expected. Food stocks started running very low and we had to split them between us comrades, with whom started to develop a fraternal bond. War never changes, that's true. One of the comrades fell into a trap of enemies and I tried everything using a shocking attack move. The same that, way back then, saved my skin more than once. Very curious to see how the Raichu evolved. At that time, it failed. My enemies were ground-type Pokemon. After neutralizing my attack, they replied using a rock-type move that devastated us. We had no chance. Myself, I got away with just an arm. But my brother in arms, Raichu, was unrecognizable. Ah. The comrade I had been trying so hard to save was gone straight off, though. Then, I blacked out due to the massive blood loss. However, someone rescued us, took care of me and my Pokemon, and nursed me with this new robot arm. After several days, I woke up from my coma and went on a rampage. I'd rather die on the battlefield than carry the heavy burden of a failure on my shoulders. Okay. Okay. Then a man, probably the boss of all those glasses down there, stood in front of me proposed me a major role within the organization he was setting up. Calling it, the Phoenix rose from the ashes of Team Rocket. I refused, obviously. Team Rocket was gone and done without Giovanni. But I couldn't tolerate what they had done me, so I decided to run away with my Pokemon. But my Raichu was anything but the one I remembered. They told me its condition was so critical that they had to insert within its body mechanical parts to bring it back to life. Those eggheads were calling it an artificial specimen zero. You can just call it a robot. You can call it what it is. It's it's a robot. Mm -hmm. 
All I knew was that I couldn't forsake a fellow, so I took it with me and ran off from that laboratory. After all that happened, I had nothing left in this world, nothing but this gym, now consumed by time. It remained deserted since I had left my position of Vermilion City's gym leader. Get involved full time in the same role in my homeland, Eldu. I decided to come back here, and since then, this old shack has basically been my home. It brings me back the memory of a glorious past I could never forget. What a sad story, huh? Hey, at least your right shoe's alive. You're alive, you know? It's cool robot arms. You sat there listening to me ramble the whole time. You must be a good hard kid. I didn't have an option to leave where I might have, to be truly honest with you. But I was curious what happened with the right shoe, so you know what? Actually, yeah, I would have stayed. That's fair. What about you? What makes you keep on your journey? Uh, a lot of things. I have a weird alternative version of myself that's trying to take over. Um, that's probably the creepiest thing that's keeping me going at the moment. I see. You're looking for your father who disappeared years ago. That too. That's also a very major plot point that's, you know, absolutely part of it. Although I will be honest, I'm more running away from the weird alternative vers version of myself trying to get into my skin. That, you know, that terrifies me, keeps me awake at light, keeps it going, you know? I wish you the best of luck in finding him. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> By the way, I want you to take this. It's old now, but it should still work. M72. Bolt switch? That's a TM. You still use those, don't you? Contains Volt Switch, a move I often use to zap all my enemies during war. Consider it my gift to you, young blade. I was kind of expecting Flash Cannon, actually. Succumbing to sentimentalism, I really sank over. If the old me heard this, he'd have a roaring laugh. Hey you, listen up. What was the organization that kidnapped your father again? Team Dimension, huh? Sometimes fate deals people a rotten hand, you see? It was Team Dimension that made me like this. He happened to remember exactly where their hideout is. How could I forget it, after all? You want me to tell you, don't you? I mean, you want to, you want to like, a slimy little piece of paper under, under under that little barrel right there, and we can, we, you don't, maybe. Well, you may not be very smart to think you can break in the enemy outpost. Or well, you've got guts of steel, kid. I'm just stupid. Yep, we proved that earlier today. If you're willing to complete your mission so bad, I'm going to tell you. In my hometown, Vega City, in my old gym, you can find the Eldu Casino. I swear to God, if there's actually a switch behind that poster. A real heaven for gamblers, fat cats, and for Team Dimension 2, if you tell me there's a switch. Pay attention now, there's a hidden passage inside there, probably shielded by some grunts, leading down to the underground. Oh my god, there's actually a switch in there, isn't there? They're gonna do it. When you'll be down there, it's up to your ingenuity and hunch skill to find that hideout, but I'm sure you'll get it done. Watch out, kid, though. The truth might be a tough pill to swallow. Well, well, well. I suppose that is as good a place as any to round up. Oh, the apple doesn't far fall from the tree, huh, Silver? Huh. Huh. Interesting words to lead off with right there, but we are going to go ahead and end off this episode right here in Vermilion. Uh, I might have a quick look around, see if there's any, like, other items we can pick up in this place, see if there's any, like, maybe patches of grass we can go above here and stuff like that off screen. But for right now, I'm going to wrap up this episode right here. If you guys have enjoyed this episode, leave a like down below, hit that subscribe button, and without further ado, bye!